Hi, my name is Vicki, and for those of you who are not aware, I have multiple sclerosis. For 14 years, I've been battling it and overcoming the symptoms. So I wanted to film an update on how I've been feeling, just in case anyone wants to know. So for me, I know I filmed a, another video previously stating that the weather, the climate outside affects me, affects my symptoms, the multiple sclerosis symptoms. Um, so I just wanted to film a quick update. Um, it's raining outside and very yucky. So it's temperatures about 40 degrees outside and it's raining and windy and it's not good here in Texas right now. Um, but I wanted to let you guys know that here recently I had been experiencing really dry skin. Again, I'm not sure. I don't think that the MS has too much to do with it, but I feel that the multiple sclerosis enhances those dry, the, my dryness in my, on my skin. Um, so what I've found helpful was just simple Vaseline. Um, people have told me Vaseline. I never, I was reluctant on using Vaseline on my hands because it's pretty thick, I feel. Um, but I just ointed on just a little bit and overnight, the next morning I'm good. But here recently I've been experiencing cuts on my hands because my hands are so dry. I don't know if you can see, but I'll post a picture here of my hands, how they look before. Um, now, another, that's one of my symptoms that I feel have been exacerbated with the multiple sclerosis. Um, now, another symptom is the cognitive problems. Um, I've been getting a little bit angry um, here recently, I, but I did stop meditating for a while. So for about two weeks, I'd stopped meditating. And um, so I need to increase my med or start meditating again. I feel that helps me a lot. So um, another symptom that I've had is uh, numbness on the bottom of my foot. Um, it's usually my right foot. Um, but I can walk. I'm still good. Uh, thank God. But I do still feel the numbness um, on my right foot. It goes away. Um, so it comes back um, every maybe once a week, but for two weeks now, it hasn't come back. So I am so happy for that. I've been watching the heater. So for me, I know the heater exacerbates my symptoms as well. Um, so any like hugs, I don't know if you guys know what a, a MS hug is. So when you feel numb around your waist. Um, that has happened like about a month ago that happened um, for a few minutes. It wasn't long. So um, I'm glad and thankful that my symptoms are not lasting because I feel that m diminishing and minimizing the amount of heat from the heater. My house is pretty cold. <laughs> Just wanted to let y'all know. So if y'all come over, bring a jacket or a blanket because it's cold in here. But I just want to let y'all know me watching the heater and uh, making sure that the heater is low has helped my symptoms. Um, right now, I've been good for about a week or so. I've been really good. Um, I haven't experienced too much of uh, exacerbations with my anger or any of that my son might disagree with me but my son and i we bump heads <laughs> at times but either way i've been trying to decrease my anger issues and uh, basically that's the biggest problem i have my anger issues with my son actually so i'm trying but I wanted to just give you guys a quick update and let y'all know that the weather here has been not so great. Um, and so if anyone wants to have, has any questions or wants to know any other information regarding my symptoms, please leave a comment. Let me know. I will gladly answer your questions. Um, like I mentioned, my biggest issue is anger problems. Uh, that arise with the weather. Honestly, when the weather is changing, 
Like it could be from 70 to 40 or from 40 to 70. It's usually when it's hot to cold, not cold to hot. But um, that's when I experience uh, the most symptoms as far as the anger issues or um, the tingling in my uh, right foot, the numbness um, that occurs. It just feels like I have two shoes on. Um, it's what it feels like. So it hasn't gone, the symptom, the feeling, the sensation of the numbness has not been more than 24 hours. So it's been about five to 10 minutes and then it goes away um, because I try to soak my feet. Um, usually when I soak my feet in Epsom salt, it really, help, really helps me. So those are my symptoms. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was short. Um, I wanted to keep this video short, but I do want to let you guys know that I am going to post another video regarding resources uh, with the Multiple Sclerosis Society, which I just attended a meeting on Saturday. This past Saturday, uh, February the 8th, it was Relationships and MS. So. I'm going to give you guys an update on that, so stay tuned for that, and you guys have a wonderful day, and I hope you guys are well. Um, let me know if you have any questions, and don't forget to subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and share, and like, if you guys want to hear more about multiple sclerosis, and things that might work to help overcome your multiple sclerosis symptoms and issues. Have a great night.